Patriots have traded the 21st pick to the Kansas City Chiefs. With the 21st pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs select Trent McDuffie, defensive back, Washington. So they go defensive back, not wide receiver to hop in front of Green Bay. Take it away. I think those top wideouts were off the board. It came down to edge rusher and corner. Trent McDuffie was the best available corner. This is an easy mover. Think about how great Jair Jair Alexander has been with the Green Bay Packers. That's who he reminded me of. He can play inside. He can play outside. He can even drop back and play some safety if you want him to. The awareness is outstanding. He can find and play the ball. He's not the tallest guy. He's not the longest guy, but he can go up and play it at its highest point. He's got outstanding ball awareness. The fluidity, open your hips. He does that so smooth and so easy. The change of direction is is outstanding. And then the toughness against the run, they do this quite a bit. They'll blitz him, let him get involved in the backfield. Here he is on the backside, forcing a fumble here. Coach, is that you or Washington State, Coach? That's you. I apologize on that one. But excited household there at the McDuffie's. And they should be excited to think about what you're getting as well (laughs) in that division because it's the AFC West now. Russell Wilson is now in Denver with some big-time receivers. Devontae Adams showed up now to help out Derek Carr and Hunter Renfro. Kansas City has set the pace as a track squad, but they need to replenish in the secondary. But Jarius needs a piece that they use all over the secondary. Trent McDuffie, similar to that, to go out there. Now they got to cover that division. Oh, yeah, that's right. Justin Herbert in the Chargers as well. With the 22nd pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, The Green Bay Packers select Quay Walker, linebacker, Georgia. All right, so another Bulldog goes off the board. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers, I I know he wants a wide receiver. I know Packer fans might want a wide receiver. The value just wasn't there. And Quay Walker is a unique player. He could play on the line over the tight end. He could also play off the ball as well. That type of versatility stood out to scouts when they went in there to Georgia. The lateral quickness at that size speed he has is pretty special. N'Kobe Dean got all the accolades there. Quay Walker was going to go ahead of him because of these physical traits, the ability to play here in space. Just a phenomenal athlete, and here he is as a blitzer. Look how fast he closes down that space. They brought Devondre Campbell back. Now he's got a running mate. Looked like a face mask on that tackle against the Tennessee guy. With the 23rd pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Buffalo Bills select Kair Elam, defensive back, Florida. Yeah, they need a corner. Tredavious White's going to miss a little bit of time here to start the season coming off of the ACL. But this is a height, weight, speed corner from Florida. Didn't get a chance to play the football as much this year as he had previously, but he can get up in you at the line of scrimmage as a physical press corner understands how to attack the ball once it's up in the air, find it, play it, knock it away. Again, didn't get the interception production that you would like later in his career, but he can play the football. Here he is with that speed and physicality across the field. The toughness, get up and make a big play. That is a face-to-face, chest-up tackle for Kair Elam. So, yes, uh, that's a, I don't know, what what is that? And they earned for that in a moment, but first the Cowboys. With the 24th pick. In the 2022 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys select Tyler Smith, tackle Tulsa. All right, so they go offensive line. Yeah, that was a need. Didn't know if it would be a tackle or an interior blocker. That was my next highest rated tackle in Tyler Smith. He is a mauler. And some of that results in some penalties. You have to dial that back a little bit at the next level. But I love the tenacity and the aggression with which he plays. Charles, Tyler Smith... I thought through this process, with so many teams having needs at tackles, where teams thought maybe we could get him in the second round a little while ago, you had to take him here. You weren't going to see him. Yeah, we always end up seeing how those guys go and those tackles go later on. A number of teams still left on this board would have had interest in him, Coach, and bring him in and plugging him in. I wrote four words down, big, wide, long, athletic. All right, so there is a jubilant head coach. With the 25th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens select Tyler Lindenbaum, center, Iowa. 
And once upon a time, I was in that personnel department, went to Iowa and got Marshall Yonda. That worked out quite well. There's a great relationship between Ozzie Newsom, Eric DaCosta, and Kirk Ferentz. So I guarantee you he got a huge endorsement for Tyler Linderbaum. Didn't Kirk, wasn't Kirk Ferentz one time the offensive line coach for the Baltimore with the, Ravens? With the Browns. Oh, with the Browns, with the Browns, with Browns there. before yep. they ended up moving to the Ravens. But you remember last year, Creed Humphrey went in the second round to Kansas City was an all-pro. This is what they're expecting from him. Yeah, you've got the best center in the draft. He's quick. He is stout in the run game. He's stout in the passing game. He is also nasty and the best company to give a guy. He's a finisher. Yeah, I think he's the best center in this draft. He's a wrestler. There is there is an unbelievable video. We'll get to it of what he did as a wrestler. Quick hands and feet. Corey Lindsley, the guy I get to see doing the Charger games each and every week. That was who he reminded me of. That quickness off the ball to be able to reach guys. It gives you so much creativity in your offense when you have an athletic center who can do those things laterally as well as moving up to the second level. The ability to cut off linebackers. He's got outstanding feel when you're working angles as an interior guy. As a puller, a center that can pull, again, that's outstanding. Giving you that versatility to your run game, he can do that. And then get him out in space. Here's a glimpse of some of the athleticism that he has. Just the ability to run and pick guys off in the screen game. The Baltimore Ravens are going to love what he brings. This is Next Gen Stats powered by AWS. You see these overall draft scores. Tyler Linderbaum right below a Brees Hall. That's good company to take. I mentioned the wrestling. How about Tristan Wirfs? One of his Iowa teammates who we've seen go on to have a phenomenal young career. That's Linderbaum pinning him. Come on. On the wrestling mat. Oh, that, my goodness. That plays very well in the offensive line room, by the way. Who, who else was a great wrestler in last year's draft? It was the center. Creed Humphrey. There you go. Joel Klatt. Guys, this is the most Ravens draft of all time. The Tennessee Titans have traded the 26th pick to the New York Jets with the 26th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft the New York Jets select Jermaine Johnson linebacker of Florida State wow I think your Jets might be cooking with gas right now Rich. <laughs> I mean, look, I did man. not think there was a chance of, in a million years that they would come away with three top nine players, at least as I see them in this draft class. I didn't see that happening. And you got two heavy personalities out of the whole deal, too. I mean, that, I mean, you've taken Sauce and Jermaine styling and profiling as he walks that aisle. This guy is a football player, right? He's not just a pass rusher. He is long. He is physical. He is aggressive. Uh, and I, I marked this when I was, when I was looking at him. 70 tackles for a defensive end where you, you look for that guy to make TFLs and sacks, but 70 tackles means he's playing in the run game also. And not on a, and not on a great football team overall. He had to make a lot of plays, and they were out of some of those games, and he, he stayed in and with the effort. But I thought he had a run up to the draft. That was as good as a defensive player had. They didn't. Talked, he, they couldn't block him at the senior bowl. They could not block him at the senior bowl. That whole process was big for him. We know about leaving Georgia to find an opportunity. Not only did he find the opportunity, he made the most of it. ACC Defensive Player of the Year. So give this young man credit. Jamison Williams left Alabama. I mean, Ohio State found his way. I mean, I saw mock drafts where he was a top five pick. I guess that's why you mock it. I thought he might go no, in the top 10 because I had him at seven at the Giants. I'm having nine with Seattle. I have him in a few different places. The whole process, I had him and Kayvon Thibodeau next to each other. They're both going to be in New York. You think those careers might be tied together as they go forward with Jets and Giants fans to see who ends up being yeah. the better of the two? Normally, his quarterbacks should tie together like that. This might be Brett pass rusher. No doubt. And he looks excited to be joining the Jets. A lot of young talent on this football team. Big time speed. He can crush the pocket. And when you think of that size and length that he has, just reminded me of Daniil Hunter and what he's done in his career with the Minnesota Vikings. The hands push-pull, right? Going to get a little push-pull. This is a sack force fumble recovery touchdown. That's about as, as good as you can do on a play if you're a defensive lineman. Here he is wrapping around the edge. He can flatten to the quarterback. There is a little bit of tightness, as with Thibodeau, but you have big-time power. He can beat you outside, he can beat you through your numbers, or he can beat you with an inside move like you see here with a spin. He also has a nice inside counter. Here's that swipe move using his hands. There's polish to his game. There's a reason why he had all that production. And watch what he does to Darian Kennard here at the end of a senior bowl practice. That's a well put together young man, Darian Kennard. He was the best blocker in the SEC last year. And the Jets got a defensive front now, guys. I'm speechless and take this player to go along with the first pick in the draft, Trevon Walker. 
The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have traded the 26th, 27th pick to the Jacksonville Jaguars. With the 27th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Jacksonville Jaguars select Devin Lloyd, linebacker, Utah. Best available player. Again, he's my 13th player, so to get him all the way down here, I see why they wanted to trade back in to add him to Trayvon Walker. That's a, that's a good young nucleus they have now on that Jacksonville G defense added with Josh Allen, Charles. Miles Jack no longer there. Devin Lloyd gets his opportunity to tackle. Derrick Henry. Jonathan, Jonathan Taylor. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> Look what you've won. And well, <laughs> tell them what they've won, Don Pardo. Yeah, I, I, I've got can tackle him. You've seen him, coach. Yeah, I've got the words just complete linebacker. Can blitz inside, can blitz outside, can cover. Uh, he's a great tackler. When he gets his hands on you, you go down and you go down hard. This guy's a really, really good football player, and we have a special moniker we give certain guys, and it's home wrecker. This guy's a home wrecker. You try to run away from him, he runs you down, you can't run at him. He's a special football player. University of Utah, coach, they have done very, very well over the years putting guys into the league. You compete against them every year now. What is it that you see that they're putting out there? Well, you know, they do a great job. Kyle Winningham does a great job recruiting, do a great job developing the talent. Uh, we've said over the years that, you know, when you play Utah, we want to be like playing us, two big physical teams that get after it. And uh, this young man's one of those guys that makes the game really, really physical. He's going to Duval County to join the Jacksonville Jaguars. They get Trevon Walker first overall up front, and then they move back in to the first round, trading the first overall pick of night two. Oh, oh. that's the home wrecker right there. Um, Commissioner record, too. Almost suplexed him. Charles, you talked about his stopping power as a tackler. That there it was, is. There was a great example of it right there. <laughs> chest to chest. The commissioner stopped right there. There you go. A little chiropractic maneuver for the commissioner of the NFL. A little adjustment. And Devin Lloyd's going to Jacksonville. Yeah, we're going to show you the plays here. Fred Warner is, is the comparison for me in terms of that range and length that he has. His ability to rush and cover. He's a unique player off the ball for Utah. He's very physical in the hole. We talk about stopping power. That's what we reference. He gets his pads on you, you go down. As a Sam linebacker, he can play in space. He's very comfortable out there. He's got outstanding instincts. Here's his ability to chase on the backside. This, this guy's motor never slows down. And in the passing game, he's done this a bunch. Jump in lanes, use those long arms and show you the athleticism. How about that one-handed interception? And sorry, coach, again, I apologize for this one. What are you doing with these teams? Pick six. I didn't purposefully choose the Stanford highlight. To, to, be, to be fair, there are probably about 10 plays that you could have put from our game. He was <laughs> oh, wow, look at that lift. With the 28th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Devontae Wyatt, defensive tackle, Georgia. I know a lot of people keep waiting for this wide receiver, Rich, but it's just not there. The value's not there. I think this is smart by the Green Bay Packers. Just just, just trust the board. There's going to be more wide receivers in this draft. You're going to be able to get Aaron Rodgers some help. The value, again, wasn't there at 22. It wasn't here right now either. These are two really good defensive players they've added to their front seven. Devontae Wyatt going from Georgia's defense along with Trevon Walker tonight and also Jordan Davis and Quay Walker. So Quay Walker and Devontae Wyatt, two Georgia Bulldogs and from the national championship team going to Green Bay. Yeah, they got two for the price of the one on that pro day. Nicely done by the Green Bay Packers. This is an interior disruptor. In the NFL, you've got to be able to stop the outside zone with penetration up front, and you've got to be able to rush the passer. And this is a player in Devontae Wyatt who's going to be able to do both of those things. What a loaded group they had down there in Athens. Who traded down from 12 all the way earlier in the evening. Um, and so the Lions could go up to take Jamison Williams out of Alabama. And it was that run on wide receivers that has uh, left, uh, I guess, fewer first round draft grades on receivers on the board. The Packers two picks went to Georgia defensive players. So here's the Patriots pick in Vegas. With the 29th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the New England Patriots select Cole Strange, guard Chattanooga. Wow. 
Wow. I thought Cole Strain, he was one of my favorite mid-round guys. I thought you might get him in the third round. The Patriots, they take the guys they like going all the way up there in the first round. I had him in the early 70s, but this dude is a bulldog. Uh, he's a coach's favorite. You can see why New England would fall in love with him. The competes he showed at the Senior Bowl, Charles, stood out. He would lose a rep, get right back in there, and win a rep. Joel Cloud, our colleague, said that Baltimore had the most Baltimore draft ever. Is that not a New England pick, guys? Look at these folks. They, they have no idea. They like, <laughs> Bill, right? Bill, we trust. Who they know. Remember, yeah, when, now? remember when Logan Mankins came off the board and everybody's like, Logan Mankins, what were we doing? Logan Mankins became an all-pro for them. FM. <laughs> you guys... <laughs> With the 30th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs select George Karloftis. Wow. Defensive end, All Purdue. Right. Nice moment for the Purdue Boilermaker. He's going to Kansas City. That's good value there with Karloftis. I thought he was a top 20 player in this draft class. Coach Shaw, you're at a school that water polo is pretty strong. This is what this kid did before that. He's built like a water polo player, big, long. But look at look at that look at that build. This guy has big lowers. He is strong. He is physical. And I love what Joel said too. This guy gets off blocks. He's not going to beat you explosive quickness, but he puts his hands on you and he gets off blocks and he makes tackles. And DJ, don't you think the next step for him is finishing some of these? Right, the yeah. pressures are there. Get completing the sacks is the next step for him. But I got to tell you, he's he's going to get a little more opportunity to play with the lead with the Chiefs. With it, play with the lead in college at Purdue. And know what else this does? Keeps Chris Jones inside where he needs to be. You know, you, you Chris Jones likes to bounce out, and play defensive end. He's at his best at D tackle. Karloff just helps him keep him there. All right, let's show you what he looks like here on the field. Joel mentioned it, just how hard he plays. I thought he did a nice job in space. Some were concerned about that. I thought he went to the combine, dispelled any concerns you would have going through the linebacker drills, did a nice job. He is a pure power rusher. Talk about the ability to kind of pry open that outside shoulder. He works half of a man, is able to just collapse through that shoulder, and then he gets home. Again, this is kind of what you're talking about, Charles. These are pressures. That's not a sack, but that'll show up as an impact play for his defense. You can kick him inside, let him rush over the guard and talked about that water polo background. It's a member of Greece's national team here. They're under 16 team. That is uh, that is a grueling sport. That's a different kind of shape you got to be in to play water polo. How much action is going on? That churning on that coach. You, I mean, you see it out there. They are physical when they're playing water polo. Yeah, I'm at one of the best water polo places on the planet. Yeah. Making a selection, so we'll see what happens. But here's the pick of the AFC champion Bengals. With the 31st pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the AFC champion Cincinnati Bengals select Daxon Hill, defensive back, Michigan. All right. So Dax Hill is the second Wolverine selected in the first round tonight. Aiden Hutchinson, two, and Daxton Hill from the school up north. Going to be playing his football in Cincinnati. I thought there was a chance they might go to another Wolverine here with David Ajabo. They go with Daxton Hill. They, they've always loved Big Ten players there with the Cincinnati Bengals. And Daxton Hill, coach, he can play in the slot. You can play him up high. He can do a lot of different things. All about versatility. Quick, explosive, can cover, can blitz. Really, really good football player. Joel, I know you saw a ton of this guy in the Big Ten. What was your take on him? Well, he can do everything, and I thought one of his best traits was his ability to tackle in space. Guys, he's got long arms. He's tough to block. He can cover one-on-one -on -one in the slot as a man defender. He can play deep in the middle of the field. He can blitz off the edge. He almost ended Graham Mertz's day. In fact, Graham Mertz in that Wisconsin clip had to leave the game. With the 32nd pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Lewis Seen, defensive back, Georgia. So we had one last pick to shoehorn in one more defender from the national champion, and Georgia Bulldogs. And that brings Bulldogs. us to the conclusion of round one. And Seen. Oh, oh, nicely done. To wrap up the first round of the NFL draft here in that Las Vegas. That brings us to the conclusion of round one of the 2022 NFL Draft. Thank you to all of you, well over 100,000 people, for being here and watching with us. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow night, 4 o'clock Pacific, 7 o'clock Eastern. Thank you.
Daniel? Yeah, Lewis seen one of the leaders for that Georgia defense. Big time hitter. He's got outstanding eyes. Really love the way he runs the alley. Some of the inconsistency was in some of the man coverage stuff. I don't think he's going to have to do that. I think you can play him high. That's where he's comfortable. They say this guy knows the defense, Joel, inside and out. He could teach that defense to anybody that came into Georgia. Joel, I know you love Lewis Seen as well here. What do you think of him? Well, I do, and, and I was just going to say, like, it's not really about the scheme. Although it was good. I don't want to take anything away from Kirby Smart. But, boys, five Bulldog defenders go in the first round. That sets the record. There has never been a defense with that many players selected in the first round. And we didn't even see one of their leaders, the middle linebacker, N'Kobe Dean, selected tonight. Could have been six. There was a chance of six. That's just how good they were. Seen is phenomenal. He flies up through the alley a good tackler this was a physical defense and i can tell you it was a big reason why they won that national championship walker davis walker wyatt c kurt i tell you what fellas a lot of uncertainty coming into this draft and it did not disappoint what a night